Earlier this year, 100 bullets were fired into Young Dolph's SUV, and three months later, police have pinned Memphis rapper Black Youngsta for his alleged involvement. Authorities have revealed that the van used to shoot up Dolph's bulletproof SUV in February was rented by Youngsta, whose associates later turned themselves over to the Mecklenburg County Sheriff's Office, where they were then charged with six counts each of discharging a weapon into occupied property and felony conspiracy. Hey man, real estate say shit. You already know what the fuck going on, man. So we gotta talk about this whole situation, the war in Memphis that's going on right now. So we all know that Young Dolph was killed this morning, basically, this afternoon in Memphis, Tennessee, while getting cookies for his mom. And it kind of just points to the direction of like a couple of different people that really had real street beef with this nigga. One of which being Black Youngster, one of which being Yo Gotti. Now allegedly it was sort of reported that both Black, Mons Black Youngster's grandma, her house was shot up and allegedly she was shot too. And then fucking um, uh, Yo Gotti's grand, uh, Yo Gotti's mother's restaurant privé was also shot. So it just seems that this is all like a situation and it's crazy as fuck. But this is like comes to no surprise because Young Dolph was already involved in a lot of different incidents. When it comes to Dolph's involvement with fucking um, Gotti. There was like a whole timeline of events of shit that happened. Initially, I think the beef sort of started from young um, Yo Gotti trying to sign Young Dolph because he was coming up, and then Young Dolph basically declining the offer, wanting to stay independent, and then I guess uh, Yo Gotti felt some type of way about that. Fast forward down the line, basically after this, like Dolph kind of tweets about this and says like, yo, he went from being my biggest fan to my biggest hater and shit because he couldn't like really do it. Then Black Youngster basically said he was gonna slap the shit out of Dolph. Then Young Dolph basically like downplays the whole situation. And then like, we don't really even know really what happens for a little bit. And then the whole fast forward to 2016 when Black Youngster showed up to Young Dolph's neighborhood. Where you at? Where you at? We in Cash State right now, we just left the stove. Where you at right now, though? Where you at right now? Book, dog. Where you at? Where you at? CLT, bitch! Forward to 2016 when Black Youngster showed up to Young Dolph's neighborhood. Um, and basically, I guess he was threatening him on behalf of Yo Gotti and shit. And then he pulled up to his fucking neighborhood and shit with hella guns and shit in Memphis on some crazy shit. And I guess that was like known. And they were looking for him. It's definitely like, I'm telling you, this nigga was definitely, I'm not saying he was involved, but definitely he was really like out here doing the shit outside himself. Black Youngster in particular was involved in one incident where um, basically he was one of the main suspects in a shooting that occurred where Young Dolph sort of talked about the fucking hundred shots thing. They didn't have enough evidence to try him, but he was one of the three people that were named as the shooters. And basically back then when that first happened, when they shot up his bulletproof SUV, Yo Gotti, He's been having a lot of beef. It goes back for years. A lot of this different incidents. Like, honestly, I think they were basically tied to the incidents, allegedly, of when uh, Young Dolph was actually shot in LA and he almost died and was shot, basically. I think he was shot in the chest. So it's just kind of crazy to see. I mean, like, I guess their beef was so active. I don't know if Young Dolph was basically thinking that the beef wasn't active anymore. That's why he was just going around the town in his camo Lamborghini, just driving around in South Memphis and shit. But it's just kind of sad to see. You look at the situation too, with like you black youngster, Yo Gotti and their family members getting slid on. It just shows that it's like, this is like some active shit right now. And it looks like it's just getting even worse, man. And this is like immediate. So whoever the fuck Dolph was with, they slid probably immediately, allegedly. 
and it's just like a crazy situation and this shit goes back for years like they, they were basically beefing throughout songs like everyone it's no secret in memphis that these niggas had no love for each other so it's just kind of crazy to see that this happened and i mean i guess it's not crazy because he's he was involved in a lot of different incidents namely like it's just crazy he basically got shot out like three times in the last five years and people were saying rumors there's rumors that he almost got shot again in la that actually yo Gotti and black youngster were shooting at his car in la so i guess there was no love lost between these niggas and they were just constantly at war still and it seems like the war is still going as you see with uh black young i mean um with young Dolph's artist keylock he deleted his instagram uh, and his twitter and it's just not doing anything which is like really what you should be doing i don't know if you're up to the various things allegedly but like in any sort of case you don't want to be incriminating yourself in any type of way because niggas be on that stupid shit on social media fucking going and doing drills and taking their phones and shit which is like the easiest way for the cops to figure out where you are and it just seems like this is just some endless fucking violence shit and it's just like just not right man so we're gonna get into this shit so we could go back to 2017 may 17 2017 i mean this is for sure the time where black youngster was like definitely implicated he got off free on this case but he basically was caught up in the whole situation um named as a shooter when um Dolph's whole tour bus was shot up. You can see the pictures of it. It was a hundred rounds went through that shit. And I guess it was completely bulletproof and he was okay. And then he made that whole album. I think it was either a hundred shots or hundred rounds, but that in itself is like a crazy situation. Just him being named in it already is definitely some suspect shit. Like we don't really even know like what the fuck even happened for sure i mean he could have made like really all you need is enough ev not enough evidence and they knew what they were doing and it, i guess if he was really the person doing it like allegedly or one of the people that the cops named they didn't have enough evidence i feel like more than likely like maybe he's could be somewhat implicated in this type of situation especially if they allegedly shot up the house of his grandmother and apparently people are saying on social media that he shot they shot and killed his grandmother then we look at yo Gotti's situation i mean like young Dolph was known to be sleeping with um yo Gotti's baby mama or someone related to yo Gotti, and they trade lyrics with each other over and over again and they were kind of just on some hate shit and it just seems like it just kind of spiraled out of control but is it surprising probably not because of all the times that he has been shot at but i guess he never thought that he could just like not go inside of his city and just be chill with it but i don't really know man it's just kind of sad to see black entertainers kind of going against each other but this is like some real street shit it's not going to be solved in any type of thing in any way anytime soon all you can really do is just fucking go with it and fucking appreciate these people and their music and shit. I mean, it's good that young Dolph, he like, uh, he owned all his masters, so he didn't have to fucking, uh, he didn't have to like go through a record deal or anything like that. So his family's going to get the direct proceeds of his um, music and all that stuff and the royalties from his stream. So if you fuck with him, definitely stream his music. It's going to be interesting to see what Yo Gotti and Young Dolph, or sorry, Yo Gotti and Black Youngs to say about this because it's definitely not looking good for them. I mean, like they're trending on social media too. So I guess people are kind of pointing fingers at them. We don't know for sure, but we can basically already just guess that like he had some, they had something to do with it and they shot up their houses unless they're wrong. On top of this, this comes right after Soldier Boy fucking diss Young Dolph, uh, Young Dolph and fucking, um, and key glock so it's gonna be interesting to see what the fuck happens with him i mean I, I haven't seen him make a statement or anything like that but i don't know it could have may as well been soldier boy for all we fucking know they really don't have enough details but if they're shooting up these people's cribs they probably know something that someone else didn't know and they probably thought that the beef 
it looks by the looks of it it looks like maybe he didn't think that the beef was real as it was right now i mean they've been beefing for years for everyone in memphis knows the cops probably know all that shit so it's kind of crazy that they would just go about and do that shit in broad daylight i wouldn't be surprised if like allegedly black youngster was one of the niggas doing it in the first place one of the niggas outside doing that shit but i don't know that's the only thing that makes sense obviously more news is gonna come and shit so we're gonna see but for now it looks like a war is going on like multiple venues have been shot they're saying a school has been shot this it's it's not looking good and shit so it's a war ground right now man hey man all y'all stay safe and shit real stay safe shit you already know what the fuck going on like comment subscribe follow me on twitter we gonna keep you posted with the news peace